In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Echo Desktop software to search, print, and export the notes that you've taken with your Echo Pen. You can also search your notes by typing in a word or a phrase in the box in the top right hand corner of your screen. You may also select the notebooks that you want to search inside of by clicking on the right hand, the down arrow to the right and selecting the notebook. You can select the open the notebook that you're in, all the notebooks, or the selected notebooks that you've checked off in the middle of the screen. When you're ready, click search. And on the left hand side, you'll see any pages in your notebooks that have the word that you were searching for. You'll see that there are three results of the word accessibility that are um, that come up in this notebook and uh, there are two pages on which th those words are found. Then I just can sim simply click on the page to to find where that word appears. So on page three in this notebook uh, the ac word accessibility appears here. Notice that it's outlined in yellow and then on page nine in the notebook the word accessibility appears two times. You can print a page at a time f of your notes from the Echo Desktop software by clicking on the page of your notes that you want to print, then right clicking, selecting print, and then select the printer and choose whether you want to print the page background and then select print. You can also share your notes and the recording that you've taken with your smart pen with someone else by clicking on the page number of the notes that you want to share, then right clicking and going to the bottom and selecting share page to email. When I get to this screen, I will have three different options. I can share my notes with audio, I can share just the pages without audio, or I could just share audio. In order for this to work, I do need a default email uh, program set up on my computer with my emails email credentials logged in. When I'm ready, I just select um, the type of uh, notes that I want to share, then click continue, and then the default email program should open up, and I'll see a new message window appear, and now I just simply type in the email address of the person or people that I want to share these notes with, and then any message, and then click send. I can also export my notes and the recordings that I've taken with my smart pen to my computer. And to do this, um, I simply right click on the page of the notes um, that I want to export. And then this time I will select share page to computer. And I will have the same three options. So I just select the, the types of notes that I want to export to my computer. And then I'll click continue and I'll see now a screen prompting me to name the notes that I want to save to my computer um, and I can um, navigate directly to the desktop or to a USB drive if I'm um, using a public computer or want to take my notes somewhere and um, then I just click save. Now this might be a good option too if um, the computer you're using doesn't have a default email program set up with your email credentials like we saw in the last uh, part of this video. Um, so um, at this point you might save, if you're using a public computer, save your notes in this way, uh, share your notes in this way to a flash drive and then open up the web browser and open up a, an, a, your email account and start a new email message and send, um, type in the people that you want to share your notes with and then attach these notes that you've saved to a flash drive perhaps um, to that email message so that you can share it with them. For more information about assistive technology and alternate media at Taft College, please call 661-763-7799. Also visit our website at www.taftcollege.edu forward slash tcwp forward slash accessibility. There you can find our bi-monthly access technology update newsletter, 
with more information about assistive technology. Also contact Joseph Polizotto at jpolizotto at taftcollege.edu or call him at 661-763-7977. Thank you very much for watching.